it's Viola Rose and I'm going to show you how to make this cheap and cute spider for Halloween. And by cheap, I mean cheap. This whole display was only $4. All you need is two garbage bags and something to stuff them with. You're going to take the first big garbage bag, pull the corners inside of it and use like a hair tie or an elastic band to tie them together just at the very edge. All it does is kind of create like a more round shape for the garbage bag instead of it being square. My dog is like 10 years old, so he's probably just going to lay here throughout the entire video. Grab your second garbage bag. These ones come already folded, but if it's not already folded, you're going to fold it so it makes four pieces. And then we're just going to cut it along these edges as I'm trying to show you here. What I like to do is just roll it up into a tiny little ball and cut the sides all at once. It makes it simpler for me, but you can also cut all the way up the side. With these particular bags, I also had to cut off this little flappy thing at the end to make sure that there wasn't kind of a weird end to his leg. Garbage bags are made of super thin plastic, so you're going to want some really, really sharp scissors. Mine aren't, so the edges came out a bit raggedy. Once you've got the edges cut, just unfold your garbage bag. Uh, these are going to be the legs, and then you're just going to pull them apart. Make sure you don't cut the bottom, only the sides, because then you're going to end up with these super duper long legs, and that's what we want. So big, long pieces of plastic, which hopefully you'll see in a minute when I've got it completely unfolded. They're super hard to unfold for me. I don't know why, but when things are stuck together, I just can't get them apart. So now we've got the finished look of the garbage bag legs. You can see that these big, long strips, you can kind of like put them around something as well if you want them to bend or anything like that. So what happened here was that this big garbage bag kind of lost it some elastic band. So I just had to go in and re like fix it again and make sure that the elastic band was in there a little more tightly. You might have to mess around with it like this a little bit to get it to work, but eventually, <laughs> Eventually it'll work, I promise. So I'm just uh, packing this with like Walmart bags. You can pretty much put anything in it. Newspaper, Walmart bags, leaves from your yard, anything you've got lying around, wrapping paper from a birthday party, I don't know. Whatever you got, just throw it in there. And then you'll end up with like a big uh, circle, like this. Then you're going to simply use your legs, so kind of fold them in half and use them to tie around this, um, I don't know, spider neck and uh, you're going to end up with like eight legs <laughs> because you've got four big long strips so you know you fold them in half you end up with eight legs it's just math people if your bags are like mine you'll probably notice that its face looks kind of like the demogorgon you're not going to be able to resist playing with it ah! okay. this is supposed to be a serious video well, that's pretty much all there is to do except stuffing the head with more bags or paper or whatever you have lying around and just uh, tying it up. Uh, tying it up was the hard part with this type of bag. You might want to use the ones with the drawstring. I've seen a lot of videos with those and it seems to work better. I like these bags because when I'm finished finally tying it into a head, what I'm left with kind of looks like a mandible. Mike tried to get a closer shot here, but my head was in the way. But anyway, you can kind of see how like I tie it like one way and then I tie it the other way. So it's nothing too complicated. And then when you're done, you have these two kind of pieces sticking out, which when you see it on the ceiling looks like kind of a spider mandible, I guess. Well, He's finally ready to go once you pull his legs out, straighten them up, and make them pretty. Oh, look at him! Give him a hug. He's so cute with his little butt. <laughs> you don't have to do this, but I like to finish him off by taking some crepe paper and folding it up to make creepy red eyes. We have some plastic dollar store rats around. They all have red eyes, so it kind of matches. And it's so cute. Get somebody to help you hang it up or hang it up yourself. But I asked Mike to help me because I do not like standing on tables because I don't have very good balance. Uh, we had to tape his butt up with about 10,000 pieces of tape and then we taped his arms up. And honestly, I'm just gonna be real with you guys. This only stayed on the ceiling for like two hours. So you probably wanna hang it on a wall or a fence or I don't know, like use stronger tape. Well, that's my video. I guess there's nothing left to do but like this video, subscribe to my channel, and run, spider!